Hands on Tammy. She's a little bit smart. You including Golden Star, as we just saw moments ago. Square up three on three against this. 
this amazing high flying trio. Zima Ion recently back in the ring on a full time basis after suffering a number of injuries. He is back in the ring, and interestingly enough, one of the individuals that caused all those injuries, Gringo Loco, is now out of commission temporarily, but you never know when he might he come back and say or do something in the contrary. Sky Day has made Zima Ion submit before. This is one of the most intimidating, smartest, and most amazing trainers of Lucha Libre anywhere in the world. And he has prepped many of the current stars of the ring on television and otherwise in Mexico, in the United States, in all countries in between. This guy has worldwide international experience. And Zima Ion, many say, is at the peak and the prime of his career and has learned against members of the revolution the best way to compete in this environment. A lot of people would agree, Zima Ion is a better athlete, a better wrestler as a result of his matches against the revolution. And very few would disagree that Zima Ion is in amazing physical condition and is ready for anything and everything in that ring. He is not intimidated by the Lucha Libre style, but the submissions of Sky Day are definitely formidable. And if he can hit a submission on Zima Ion, he might be able to make him tap. Everyone knows Zima Ion has dealt with some previous injuries to his wrist and his knee. So that could be a potential site for the damage, a target for Valentino Sky Day Jr. and Sky Day to pinpoint in this match. Notice Sky Day refused to have Sky Day Jr. and Valentino re-enter this ring because Sky Day is too proud. He doesn't want Zima Ion to get an upper hand at all. Look at the way that Sky Day just nips up with ease back to his feet from a grounded position. Both men taking turns, trying to absorb impact and twisting one another's body parts and knots. This might be a technical battle on the surface, but there's bragging rights. There's a lot of bad blood that has surfaced in the past calendar year and a half between Revolution members and the Galley Allies and Carlos Robles. Zima Ion and Billy Starr, they all remember what happened at the Galley Anniversary Show. Sky Day Jr., the whole entire revolution, they blamed Billy Starr for losing the Tag Team Championship act. And then the beatdown. Multiple men trying to destroy Billy Starr from head to toe. And Zima Ion, one of the only individuals to stand up for Billy Starr. And the Galley Allies are fortunate that they have Eros on their side as well. Because he's a high-flying force in the ring that is so popular, so young, and has a huge, bright future in this ring that the fans cannot deny. And the Rudos can't deny how impressive he is in the square circle. Ion tries a cradling pinning attempt, but now Sky is showing that his striking is much stronger than Zima Ion's. Reversal by Ion sending Sky Day into the corner. In many people's eyes, the teacher of the teachers. Spiral, arm drag, and Zima Ion took a nasty fall on his left shoulder, and he's fortunate that he was able to absorb the impact and remain standing. An awkward fall, but he did manage to muscle Sky Day out of the ring. Valentino has scored a lot of big wins with the Revolution since he joined the group about a year ago. The sympathetic ovations for Billy Starr in this one. One of the most creative high flyers on the entire planet. And no one can deny that 
Billy Starr is a crazy risk taker with unlimited high flying skill. And Valentino apparently not taking well to the fact that the fans are cheering for the opposition instead of the revolution. But revolution already interrupted that previous bout, forcing a disqualification or no contest. I never even got an official word from the referee any long about that. Legs crossed behind the body of Billy Starr. Billy Starr has got to be careful of Valentino's ground and pound offense. Very accurate on his takedowns and reversals. And Billy Starr trying to take advantage of Valentino at this point. And I think Scotty is taking offense to the way Billy Starr is trying to be aggressive in this ring. The mad grappling of the revolution is second to none. Billy Starr trying to use his quickness against this bigger foe at the moment. Valentino with a 25 pound weight advantage. Billy Starr with the arm drag. Can't put him down right there. Both men trying putting attempts. Valentino tried to prevent his descent, but got up anyway. Nice carousel kick by Billy Starr, putting on Valentino for a moment, stomping repeatedly on his foe. Valentino gets chopped backwards all the way up against the near side ropes. Valentino straddles himself. Billy Starr rolls him backwards and arm drags him to the other side of the ring. Billy Starr has put Valentino down and already the trash talking by Snyder. Look at that, Billy Starr knocking all three members of the revolution to the outside. And Billy Starr threatening to take flight at any moment. team we have not seen compete yet and that's heroes the young high flyer has tested himself against Piazos, against explicit contents against los malditos but never against the revolution and this is a huge test for heroes tonight listen to how loud this crowd is for heroes in this one and there's a reason why Eros is in the main event spotlight. And one of the main reasons is, in terms of attention, this man is getting it. And he has been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in galley for quite some time. Up kick, staggers, Sky Jr. Tries to elevate over his opponent. His progression downwards along the ring apron. Nice upwards kick. That rocks Scotty Jr. badly. He's going for the slingshot right here. Up in the air. Flips to his feet. And then he drags him down into the man. By stepping head scissors takeover. Eros wants the take flight. Tuffy Cornelio on the way from here. Scotty Jr. with 
Billy Starr. Well, Billy Starr's on the outside as well as Zero. So it's a three on one attack, and it's all up against Zima Ion at the moment. Zima Ion, current TNA Impact Wrestling X Division champion. Firing's carry. Look at that. He got hit between the legs as he rolled him backwards to his feet. Double team back elbow smash puts Ion down. Ion is all cold on the outside. It's the revolution against Billy Star right here. Back body drop. And Scotty Jr. and Scott have already done damage to the star Yoshi Hero and a huge delay drop kick by Scotty. And Arrow scored straight after Scotty, but Valentino was on his heels as soon as he heard the footsteps. Listen to how agitated these fans are at this multi-man attack on Arrow's right here. Motionless. The Revolution are ready to pick him up right here. Valentino crushes Billy Starr in the chest with that leaping kick to the corner and just knocked him down all the way to the floor on the near side. Cross chopping blow and arrows fell backwards. The crowd is silenced, obviously, because the Revolution have taken over total control of this match. Monkey toss, into the fireman's carry, plunging drop, and it's gonna get from bad to worse at this rate. If Eros does not show that he's careful in there right now. Watch out! Oh my goodness! Twisting superplex off the second row, and Zemion barely break it up. Oh my! Scotty sent Ion outside of the ring. Between the middle rope and the top rope on the far side so hard, he may never get off again. And so does Billy Star to the outside. Three on one. Disruptive, violent, remorseless. They will not be satisfied until they injure and destroy any and all of the galley allies. Backflip to his feet. Almost a backward somersault with the assist. Nice arm drag. He avoids the backslash. Heroes leaves the ring. Ion joins the action again. He's in there against two men at once, though. Oh, my. Crushing clothesline by Skyday. Billy Star with a driving arm drag. The arrows climbs to the top. Cross body block. But Scotty Jr. pushes off. Nice arm drag there by Billy Star. He got Scotty Jr. off of his back. Valentino on his last legs on the outside. The Skies don't see to and they hit their striking blows on Aeros on the near side and Billy Starr on the far side. Scotty and Scotty Jr. trying to discuss what they're going to do next in retaliation for what took place earlier. Ringo Logan, not a 
part of the revolution in this match, but the sense of the matter is that Scotty and Scotty Jr. want revenge over anyone and everyone associated with Ringo Locos. Archer, look at that, monkey toss over the arms of Scotty and Scotty Jr. himself after taking the fall on the barricade on the near side. Valentino versus Ion in the ring, one on one. Billy Starr hobbling around. Ion leapfrogs over Valentino. Super kick. 